entrance antiphon, filled by the Lord with a spirit of understanding, blessed burn streams of clear teaching to the people of God. Holy Mass for this feast of St. Bernard, abbot and doctor of the church, is being offered for the repose of the soul of David Stein. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with all of you. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate more worthily. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O God, who made the abbot, St. Bernard, a man consumed with zeal for your house and a light shining and burning in your church, grant through his intercession that we may be on fire with the same spirit and walk always as children of light. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Ezekiel. Thus says the Lord, I will prove the holiness of my great name, profaned among the nations in whose midst you have profaned it. Thus the nations shall know that I am the Lord, says the Lord God. In their sight I prove my holiness through you, for I will take you away from among the nations, gather you from all the foreign lands, and bring you back to your own land. I will sprinkle clean water upon you to cleanse you from all your impurities. And from all your idols I will cleanse you. I will give you a new heart and place a new spirit within you, taking from your bodies your stony hearts and give you natural hearts. I will put my spirit within you and make you live by my statutes, careful to observe my decrees. You shall live in the land I gave your ancestors. You shall be my people and I will be your God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The responsorial psalm, I will pour clean water on you and wash away all your sins. I will pour clean water on you and wash away all your sins. A clean heart create for me, O God, and a steadfast spirit renew within me. Cast me not out from your presence, and your Holy Spirit take not from me. I will pour clean water on you and wash away your sins. Give me back the joy of your salvation and a willing spirit sustain in me. I will teach transgressors your ways and sinners shall return to you. I will pour clean water on you and wash away your sins. For you are not pleased with sacrifices. Should I offer a burnt offering, you would not accept it. My sacrifice, O God, is a contrite, a contrite spirit, a heart contrite, contrite and humbled. O oh God, you will not spurn. I will pour clean water on you and wash away all your sins. Jesus Christ, please be in my heart and on my lips, and I proclaim your holy gospel worthily and well. In the name of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, amen. The Lord be with you. And with A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus again in reply spoke to the chief priests and elders of the people in parables, saying, The kingdom of heaven may be likened to a king who gave a wedding feast for his son. He dispatched his servants to summon the invited guests to the feast, but they refused to come. A second time he sent other servants, saying, Tell those invited, 
Behold, I have prepared my banquet. My calves and fattened cattle are killed, and everything is ready. Come to the feast. Some ignored the invitation and went away, one to his farm, another to his business. The rest laid hold of his servants, mistreated them, and killed them. The king was enraged and sent his troops, destroyed those murderers and burned their city. Then the king said to his servants, The feast is ready, but those who were invited were not worthy to come. Go out, therefore, into the main roads and invite to the feast whomever you find. The servants went out into the streets and gathered all they found, bad and good alike and the hall was filled with guests. But when the king came in to meet the guest, he saw a man there not dressed in a wedding garment. He said to him, My friend, how is it that you came in here without a wedding garment? But he was reduced to silence. Then the king said to his attendants, Bind his hands and feet and cast him into the darkness outside, where there will be wailing and grinding of teeth. Many are invited, but few are chosen. The Gospel of the Lord. Jesus Christ, be seated for a moment. We have to say a word about St. Bernard. We like St. Bernard, a doctor of the church like St. Catherine of Siena. Uh, St. Bernard is considered to be the most important religious leader of the 12th century. Imagine that. We should know about him. The most important religious leader in the entire 12th century. He was an advisor to popes. He defended the faith. He healed schisms. He reformed monasteries. He was a scripture scholar and a brilliant theologian and an eloquent preacher. How about that? His life was characterized by one thing. You know, you find successful people, if you want to be successful, find a successful person and then do what they did. St. Bernard is characterized by what? Answer, a deep devotion to Mary, who will always lead us to her son. Most important character, the most important figure in the 12th century is characterized by a deep devotion to the Blessed Mother. Uh, many books are written by St. Bernard on, the, on devotion to Mary, true devotion uh, to Mary. Uh, they're still the standard today. We, uh, we love Mary. As a Dominican parish, St. Catherine was a Dominican. We've asked her intercession to help us in this work we're doing. St. Bernard said, With Mary, with Mary as our guide, not our God, but our guide, we will never go astray. Invoking her, we will not lose heart. As long as she is in our mind, we are safe from deception. While she holds our hands, we will not fall. Under her protection, we have nothing to fear. If she walks before us, we will not grow weary. And if she shows us favor, we will reach the goal. We like St. Bernard. We ask him to intercede for us, uh, to teach us a true devotion to Mary, who will always lead us to her son. Stand and pray now. Heavenly Father, hear our humble prayers and petitions through the intercession of St. Bernard. Teach us true devotion to Mary, who will always lead us to Jesus. Let us pray to the Lord. That the Holy Spirit will graciously watch over our church leaders as they continue to guide us in the way of Christ's peace and love. Let us pray to the Lord. That God will guide those who govern us, working diligently to raise up the lowly within the communities they serve. Let us pray to the Lord. For all those who suffer affliction in mind or body, may they be blessed with the peace of Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, That God may strengthen our parish 
as the body of Christ doing his work on this earth, let us pray to the Lord. For those who have died, may they enjoy the eternal feast with all the angels and saints. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord Almighty God, you are the judge of all that is right and good. Please hear our prayers. Grant them according to your will. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. May be seated. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. With humble spirit and contrite heart, May we be accepted by you, O Lord, and may our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Wash away my iniquity, cleanse me from my sin. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. We offer to your majesty, O Lord, the sacrament of unity and peace as we celebrate the feast of the abbot St. Bernard, a man outstanding in word and deed who strove to bring order and concord to your church. Through Christ our Lord, amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God. For in the saints who consecrated themselves to Christ for the sake of the kingdom of heaven, it is right to celebrate the wonders of your providence by which you call human nature back to its original holiness and bring it to experience on this earth the gifts you promise in the new world to come. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them, like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. the mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. 
Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Carl, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. Graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Lamb of God, you take Amen. away the sins of the world. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. As the Father loves me, so I also love you. Remain in my love, says the Lord. The body of Christ. Amen. The body of Christ. Amen. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. Amen. The body of Christ. 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 
the body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. Amen. The body of Christ. 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 body of Christ. act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are truly present in the Holy Eucharist. I love you above all things and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. May the food we have received, O Lord, as we honor St. Bernard, work its effect in us, so that strengthened by his example and instructed by his teaching, we may be caught up in love of your incarnate word, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go forth, the Mass is ended.